Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Server Spotlight, which is a series in which we take a brief look at a server, go into a main overview of it, including its population, what platform it's on, and some other general info you may want to know, and then talk a little bit about the main features of the server that stand out to me, and then at the end, we go and spend a couple hours in-game and give you guys an idea of what the new player experience is like. So again, before we start, there will also be times in the description, or if you scroll along this video's timeline, there should be sections as well, if you want to just skip around the video. Also, before this video starts, I know a lot of you guys are not subscribed, so if you have been enjoying the content, please hit that sub button, as it really does help out the channel. But now, without further ado, we're going to begin the spotlight. First off, of course, talking about a bit of a main overview of the server. So starting off, Subversion RP was founded first off in September of 2019 and is also a whitelisted server running on the 5M platform. Now just so you guys know if you guys are looking to apply to the server, currently at the time of this video they're only accepting donator whitelisting as they have been getting a ton of applications since actually a couple of very popular Twitch streamers played on the server and they're also accepting obviously a lot of applications because there are a lot of streamers that do play on this server. It is also only an 18 plus server, so make sure of course you're over the age of 18 if you're looking to apply. And it's also a voice only server, it does not have any text RP besides obviously some slash me's and slash do's I believe, but they are not very used very commonly. It also has a max population size of 145, which is actually pretty high for a 5M server in my opinion. And with the one sync it is currently running, I was getting around 110 to 120 frames in most spots, and with crowded spots going dropping around to down to 80 or 90. Which, compared to some other servers, it was actually running really well, especially with having 145 people on it. But I do think that's going to be pretty much it. Again, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview. Again, this is not going to be going into anything too in-depth. But in the next section, we are going to be going over some of my main features or some of the main features of the server that I thought stood out to me the most. So let's go into that right now. Alrighty, so now moving into the main features of Subversion RP. Starting off, they have a pretty good variety of different scripted jobs, which include fishing, mining, garbage trucking, actually being an Amazon delivery driver, a pizza delivery driver, a taco job, a recycling plant, chicken farming and processing, and a bunch more that I wasn't able to get into. There are also a ton of custom interiors in buildings such as fast food shops, various government buildings and courtrooms, a comedy club, a custom weasel news interior, custom mechanic shops, a custom drag strip, and a bunch more that I also did not get to see because they were unfortunately closed during some of the time that I was playing. There is also a very sleek and fast inventory system with features such as drag and drop, control click to fast move items, and a very responsive system all in all, actually one of the most responsive inventory systems I've seen yet from servers I've tried out. There's also a very unique crafting system with different crafting recipes as well as different crafting tools that you need to use those recipes. And during my time, which you'll see in the new player experience, there are a lot of really, really cool crafting things to do on the server and really makes the server feel a lot more unique. There are also various criminal activities such as stolen delivery services, pawn shop runs, bank robberies, jewelry store robberies, regular store robberies, big bank heists, Polito bank heists, weed plant growing, drying and selling, various ways to craft ammo and other useful items, which again goes back into the crafting systems I was talking about earlier, and then obviously some features that I wasn't able to figure out during my time, as a lot of the illegal stuff you have to have a lot of RP and a lot of stuff beforehand to actually figure them out. There was also very good performance, I noticed with 5M's 1 sync and a decently high player count, it's probably one of the highest pop. 5M servers I've actually played on, and I was getting pretty much better frames than most of the other 5M servers I've actually seen, so it was really nice to see this with especially the high player count that the server does have. There are also tons and tons of unique items, such as different food items, different rocks and stuff that you can get through mining, and different stones, different rubies, different items you can craft again, such as necklaces, rings, stuff like that that you can sell. There's different fish you can get, I believe you can get rare fish, there's different fish bait. There's a ton of different items, a ton of unique items. Honestly, if you guys jump on the server, I really do recommend just going around to different stores, because a lot of them do have unique items to that store, and it's also just a lot of fun to have a lot of variety on a server. There are also motels, apartments, and of course, player-owned housing. 
there is a pretty cool car finance system where basically you have to do a payment every seven days i believe for seven times until it's paid off and if you don't pay it off instead of that vehicle just disappearing they actually have to have either a pdm worker or a mechanic see your vehicle on the street and physically repo it so it's a pretty cool system in my opinion and also allows for a lot of rp around it there's also a very fast and responsive phone, as well as a golf course with a working golf game, which again would be a ton of fun to play, like with your gang or just a bunch of friends or whatever. It looks like a ton of fun just having a little mini game like that. There's also a wide variety and just different random activities to do that can really keep you entertained. But I think that's going to be about it going over the main features that I noticed. And next, we're going to be getting into the main part of this video and the main part of most of my server spotlights, even though this is only the second one I've done. That being the new player experience. So let's hop in game and spend a couple hours in game and then I'm going to go over with you guys all of the stuff that I went through as well as my new player experience. So hopefully you guys enjoy that and it gives you guys a little idea of what the new player experience is like on Subversion RP. Alrighty, so first off, I was of course greeted by the title screen, and then obviously the create a character screen, which was pretty similar to most servers, again, not anything super unique there, but then after we were brought in, I obviously was brought up to the character creation screen, where first I had to put in my first last name and all that info, so once that was filled out, I went over to the actual character creation screen, and honestly, this system was actually very intuitive, very nice, I didn't see any glitches, everything was working pretty well, like Again, this is uh, the pretty common screen that I've seen used on a lot of different servers, so again, nothing super special here. I also did notice a clothing tab in the top of the screen as well, which again, I didn't use for some reason, I guess I didn't see it. But, uh, after creating a character, which again, I'm speeding up here because it took me quite a bit to create a character, as it does with any new server. And after testing out the menus a little bit and thankfully having no bugs go on, I finished creating my character, did my first little walk. Honestly, this character wasn't too bad in my opinion, although I'm not sure if I'll be playing on Subversion too much, but you know, never know what's going to happen. I obviously opened up my map, looked around a little bit, because obviously when you get into a new server, you want to check everything out, until I found the licensing center, and I assumed that's probably where we wanted to head over first. But before we do so, I figured I would check out both the inventory and phone. Again, I tested out the inventory a little bit here, and honestly, it feels super good, and that little Velcro sound is honestly very satisfying uh, I tried to glitch different items out as much as I could try to move them super fast stuff like that had no glitches thankfully and again everything felt super super fast inventory felt super responsive I really really enjoyed this inventory system next of course I checked out the phone which again is pretty much the run-of-the-mill phone although it was very responsive thankfully but it is pretty much the default phone used on a lot of 5m servers including no pixel and limelight it's a very very similar phone if not the same exact one so after checking out the phone for a little bit, I again headed over to the licensing center to finally get my license because I had not gotten it on yet, and I figured that's probably something we want to do as a new player on the server. And again, this is one of the many custom interiors on the server. I thought this was a pretty nice custom interior, although I'm guessing not everything was loaded in since this was my first time actually joining the server, as we'll see in a couple more parts. But again, if I was to join the server again, which I did the next day, everything loads in perfectly then. It was just because it was my first time on the server. So after getting my license and everything, I decided to check out the rest of the building, explore it a little bit. I was hoping that I could maybe buy a driver's license or something like that, but it doesn't seem on the server that you actually need a driver's license to drive. I think you just need your ID card, it seems. At least that's what I saw so far. They also, again, have this little back room here with a little lobby and then, of course, a courtroom, which, again, I'm guessing you use for court cases and such and hopefully leads to some really cool RP. It was also, you know, a pretty, pretty run-of-the-mill courtroom. Most servers have ones pretty similar to this, not anything special you can really do there. And then after checking it out for a while, I decided to check out the pink cage because it seemed like I might have a motel there. I wasn't very sure because there was a white icon around if that meant anything special. And as I soon found out, as a new player on Subversion, you are actually given a motel to stay in where you can store your items and or change your clothes or change your character, which is very, very nice. Um, I really enjoyed this feature. Especially being a new player, it's awesome to have somewhere where you can store stuff, uh, kind of get settled, or if you have to go AFK for a couple seconds, just go in there. It's really, really nice starting out with a hotel or something. And then, of course, after checking that out, I went, of course, as I do with every server, to the gun shop. And it does actually seem like you can buy guns without a gun license. Although, as I was talking to someone later on in this video, as you may see... If you are caught with a gun with no license, you will get a felony, but I'm pretty sure as a new player, you can actually purchase one. Or you can go to the store, or 
or you can go to MRPD and of course actually get a license the legit way, I think someone told me for around 2500 And after searching a couple cars for keys, I finally found them in one of them and decided to make my way down to the Grove Street area and check out one of the local stores. Now, I was a little excited to see what kind of items went in here, and thankfully I was greeted by a pretty wide selection of kind of unique items. It was very nice to see this, even if again people only use one or two different kinds of food and water, it is nice having some variety. And then I proceeded to of course pick up some essential items, such as a can of Monster, as well as some scratch tickets, which again, I wasn't too sure if they were actually going to work or if they were just an RP item. But after using them, you actually make some money from it, or again, you can obviously lose money, but it's actually a pretty cool system to be able to just buy little scratch tickets and be able to scratch them off. And I soon realized that if I stayed here for much longer, the video would pretty much just be me doing scratch tickets and me losing all my money. So I decided to leave the store and not go bankrupt this way, but I thought the lottery tickets was a really cool little fun item to have on the server. So after checking out the store, I decided to head over to the U-Tool and grab some items and check out what items they have there. So I, of course I grabbed a fishing rod as well as a fishing knife, which again at this point I wasn't too sure it was for. And I picked up what I thought was fishing bait, which actually did turn out to be fishing bait thankfully. And there was a couple different kinds. I picked up some shrimp as well as some bread bites and a bluefish. I also then picked up a bunch of other items that I thought might be used in this video. As well as this jewelry roller, which I was curious as to what it was used for. And then after exiting U-Tool and using it, it brought up this crafting menu, which I was very impressed with. Uh, it seems there's a bunch of different items you can craft and as I soon learned out later you're able to sell at different shops and of course I thought it was just a really cool crafting system to have something unique like this that you're able to craft items. Also a very unique thing to this server I don't think I've seen it on almost any other server where there's different items where when you use them it allows you to craft other ones. So after grabbing a bunch of stuff I figured I would head over to the fishing spot and test out the fishing on the server as I do that job pretty much on every single server when I'm checking it out. So after checking out and finally finding a nice fishing spot, I soon found that you're actually able to put bait onto your rod and then use the rod with that bait. And I thought this was a really unique feature that I haven't seen on any almost any other server. Every other server, it's just there's one kind of bait, you put it on your rod, you fish as much as you want and that's it. Or there's even no bait at all. So it was really cool having a variety of at least three different kinds of bait. Now maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe you can actually use other kinds of fish and other kinds of bait. Again, I didn't test it out too much, but it was cool having a variety variety of different bait you're able to use to fish with and I'm guessing you get different kinds of fish based on the kind of bait or at least different pounds of fish based on the kind of bait you use which I thought again was a really cool feature. I also noticed that the fishing mini game is not a huge mini game, but is kind of a nice one. Basically, it will just come up in the top right saying that you have a fish on your line and press a certain number to catch it, which again is a pretty simple system but definitely works pretty well. And after fishing for quite a while, I figured that this knife would probably be what I'm using to turn the fish into actual cut up fish and processed fish. And again, I was brought with another really nice crafting menu and decided to craft up all of my fish, cut them all up and turn them into processed fish, which again, is just a nice little process. And it's pretty nice having multiple steps for fishing instead of just catching fish and endlessly selling it. So after spending a little bit of time again processing all of the fish, and again, this is sped up obviously. It did take me, I think, around almost a minute to process all of this fish. I headed over to the fish market to see what kind of money I would get. And honestly, the money was not too bad. It seemed like it sold five fish every what seems like to be four or five seconds and would give you a random amount of money and I've seen honestly anywhere from around a hundred dollars to I think we got two hundred dollars at some point so you can make a decent amount of money again I only fished for a couple of minutes and made around I think a thousand dollars total so you can definitely make a little bit of money fishing and it's also a pretty relaxing and enjoyable experience so after selling all of the fish I noticed a job nearby, also known as Sharky's Pizza Delivery, so I went over to the pizza delivery place and promptly signed up for the job where I was basically greeted with a little moped, and then I obviously went to go grab the pizza, which actually was a very immersive experience having to be able to carry this little pizza around instead of it just saying like a bag or something like that. It was nice having an actual little pizza item. So after that, I of course got on the moped, which was honestly a lot faster than I thought it would be, and went over to do one of my deliveries and see what kind of money you make as a pizza delivery man.
And after doing a couple deliveries and not really making too much money, it seemed I was making anywhere from $60 to around $180 per delivery, I decided it was time to head to a clothing store and change up our style a little bit. Then finally, after arriving at the clothing store, I actually tested out the menus a little bit. It seems they actually have a ton of custom clothing, which was really nice to see as well. And the menus were also super nice. Uh, everything, again, worked pretty well. Again, this is a pretty generic menu used on most 5M servers, so I didn't expect anything too special. But I did notice that there were a lot of custom clothing, which was always nice. And, of course, the system being pretty similar to most systems, I'm not going to spend too much time on their clothing system. But overall, again, pretty clean, pretty normal, pretty generic. But again, it worked really well and can't really ask too much of the clothing system as it is kind of hard to make it anything unique. But after checking out the clothing for a little bit, we finally headed off after finding a style that suited us a little bit better. And after exploring for a little bit, I had my first RP interaction. You lost, man? A little bit. Can I help you with anything? Um, not really. I'm just trying to figure out the town a bit. I'm just new to town. All right. Well, uh, you need a job? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. All right, there's a place called Recycling Center. Uh, if you pull out your phone and look on your map, uh, you can go there and talk to one of the managers. Uh, you look for like Vinny or Wade or uh, Mitch is like the head of the of the Recycling Center. But that's the best paying job that I've found here in town. Uh, also, if you like want something like you need money right now, you can uh, get a car and head up to Polito. There's an Amazon up there, Amazon delivery. So you can do Amazon delivery. Do you have a uh, do you have a locks pick yet? Uh, I do not, my good sir. Here, hold on a second. There you go, man. That helped me out a hell of a lot when I first got in the city. Hey, I'm gonna thank pass you, it man. on to you. I appreciate yep. it. What's your name? Uh, my name's Curly. I uh, nice I work at the you. I work at the recycling center. So if you end up getting a job over there. I'm there like 12 hours a day. What so. the fuck y'all doing? Y'all boyfriend's doing out oh, here. Oh, thank you, man. Hey, don't don't be hating, okay? He's new what in town, heck? and I'm trying to recruit him. So, what's with your you yellow car? It looks like it looks like a taxi. Nobody called for a taxi. What you mean? That's it. This Vago shit. You better show some respect. Put the oh, sorry. Body. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I don't want no problems, Vago. I, no I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Put chain on your fucking fucking pants. That's it. I don't oh, even have a chain. It's fake. It'll it, hey, it'll turn it'll turn your hip green. You don't want it. Hey, no problems. Hey, hey, okay, you can spit on me all out. Hey, I didn't know you were Vagos. My bad. Hey, my hey, bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, here, boy? I said I was sorry, man. I'm trying to help my buddy here. Just relax. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I thought it was a taxi. I'm, my, my mistake. It's a really nice car, man. I heard these are real fast. Hell yeah, G. We're doing gang wars out here. We're doing gang wars. Yeah, you guys are. I heard you guys are the ones not to fuck with out here, man. My yeah, bad. I, my vision was. The city. Oh, yeah, we That's what I heard, man. Fuck the ballers. It's all about Vagos, right? <laughs> yeah, G on my ball, I see. Yeah, man. See, I don't want no problems with you guys. You guys are cool as shit, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean Aye. to disrespect you. All right, but do your shit. Take that new boy to the fucking. Tell him to watch his cell, what he's doing in the south side. I see. You got uh, it, man. All right, let's see. Later, bro. Yeah. And then after having that very fun interaction, honestly, it was great to have my first experience on the server having a guy literally just give me a lockpick, and then that very in-character Vagos honestly made the server feel a lot better, and honestly it was a very, very fun interaction. I then, of course, wanted to test out this lockpick, so I went to go find a vehicle to hopefully commandeer. Then, after finding a Masakro, finally, and hot warrioring it, I figured I would try and take some of the guy's advice that, I had, that he had said earlier, and go check out the Amazon delivery job. But before going up to the Amazon delivery job, I thought we would first check out another government building that I hadn't seen yet, and I figured it might be interesting to check out before we head up north. Now, as I soon learned, it was just a place to be able to check your record and stuff. It did have a very, very nice interior. Uh, I didn't explore it too much because I was a little scared of our car despawning, which I didn't want to have happen. So after checking out just a little bit of the interior, which again was very, very nice and very, very clean, I decided to finally get back in the Masakro, head up north, and test out one of the other jobs called the Amazon Delivery Job. And since it was a pretty long drive up there, I noticed that there was also a drag strip located on the map. 
and I assume this was just going to be the normal vanilla sandy shores, but it's actually a fully modded drag strip. Now again, one of these buildings didn't load in, but I'm guessing that's just because it was my first time on the server, and if I were to of course disconnect and reconnect the buildings would be fine. But this whole out exterior and this whole custom exterior I thought was really, really cool. Uh, they had setup lanes, they had the actual lane themselves, they had a whole entire drag strip. I actually went to go test out the drag strip. And of course, the Masakura was not exactly a drag car, but it was still fun to test it out. And I also noticed that at the end of the drag ship, there's this really cool feature, which you'll see right now, where it slows your car down pretty much instantly. So if you have probably these crazy modded cars and stuff, you're not going to be flying out of the whole entire airfield. It's really nice that they have that little feature at the end, and it really makes drag racing a lot better. There's also these little lanes where you can come back into it in, so people can be running drag strips as well as coming back. I thought it was really cool, and I think if you were to hold events here it'd be some really really awesome rp there's also a bunch of like food vendor stands there's like a little mechanic shop there's a little open interior garage which i'll show you guys in a second here there's a lot of really cool stuff at this stuff um i thought it'd be really cool for rp experiences and again this little garage here i'm not exactly sure what it's used for it looked like there was a dyno inside no idea if any of this stuff works but either way there could be some really cool rp made for this and i'm really glad that they have this on the server so again after checking the drag strip out a little bit we finally headed back up to finally check out the Amazon delivery job. And after finally parking my stolen car and signing up, I grabbed my truck and started to get on the route. Now, unfortunately, this truck was probably had the turning radius of about two yachts, so it was not exactly the best thing to maneuver around. But I quickly went to go make my first delivery and see what kind of money I would make. It was also pretty cool because it was an actual prime truck. But, of course, before making the deliveries, we obviously have to grab the packages, which, again, is just a little mini-game sort of thing over here. We just walk up, grab it with E, put it in the truck. Nothing too special. Again, I've seen stuff like this on a lot of servers, but it is kind of a nice little thing. It's also kind of nice having the actual Amazon Prime delivery truck modded in because it makes it feel a little bit more realistic. But, again, after filling up all of the packages, we went to go do our first delivery. And after doing this first delivery and not making too much money, I went ahead, did a couple more, made a little bit more money, but decided it probably wasn't worth it or wasn't the most enjoyable job for me. So I went on to go try another one. But before moving on to another job, I had commandeered a truck and decided to go check out Braddock's Farm because this is a pretty common spot for a lot of illegal activities on most servers and found someone actually there what seemed to be like a place where you could actually pick the weed now i'm not sure about the drying spot or the selling spot but i did notice this is where it seemed like you could actually pick the weed up again i didn't want to stay too long as i exactly didn't want to get robbed and was a little paranoid about it and quickly left the area i also then headed back over to utool to possibly test out a couple other items that i hadn't picked up beforehand went ahead bought some binoculars and thankfully they actually turned out to work which again, every server that has had binoculars did not work at all, unfortunately. So it was nice to see these binoculars and they could definitely use for some cool RP stuff. And then after driving around for a little bit more, I decided to go check out the PDM because I saw that there were some dealers inside and I proceeded to, of course, talk to them and finally pick up my first vehicle. <laughs> you right there, fella. Uh, I'm just new to town. Uh, what do you guys have for some uh, cheap cars? If you're new to town, the one you're going to be looking at is da, 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 da. Uh, the Warrener. Oh, I got you. Uh, how often is the financing have to be paid? Uh, it's every seven days. Oh, okay, sweet, sweet. Um, I think I'm actually going to go for that then. Can I pay it uh, from okay. my bank or do I have to go back uh, to the You'll need it in cash. Do you have your ID with you as well? Your ID card? Uh, I do, my man. Oh, came prepared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. Uh, so, need your telephone number as well. And then, yeah, just grab a little bit of cash out. Uh, I think it's $628 you need each week. There you go. Did you get that all right? Uh, yep. Awesome. Yep, so like I say, yeah, it's uh, 10 equal payments, one every seven days. To make the payments, you can either do it on your phone under your vehicle app or come down to PDM and speak to one member of the sales staff. If you come down and do the final payment, uh, we can close the credit file. Uh, we also now offer a, ca a small cashback on the final payments. Oh, awesome. Uh, 
if you miss two weeks of payments the vehicle will be classed as up for repossession so if it's left lying around parked up around town there's a chance it could be repossessed by a mechanic or a member of uh, pdm uh, at which point uh, you would lose the vehicle as well as any money spent up to it on cosmetics or finance at that point okay any questions no i think i'm all right mate Okay, I'll need a signature from you on this sell sheet. Uh, and then if you select the finance option, uh, you'll need the cash in your pocket. Um, if you've not got them, we've just got the ATM over there. Once you select the finance option off the car, I'll meet you at the back, confirm the license plate matches what I've got on the sales document, and then we can get you on the way. Alrighty, sir. I think that should be it then. Thank um, you. I get to just go ahead and finance now? Yep, go ahead Alrighty. and finance. Right, just gonna confirm this plate matches what I've got. There we go, all done. I'll go and open this oh, gate. Awesome. Uh, take this down to your local garage and get it stored away. And then I also figured it'd probably be a good time to ask about mining. Um, one last question for you, mate. By the way. Yep. Um, I had purchased uh, some mining supplies earlier. Where would I go to uh, start finding some ore as possible? Uh, you need to think about go mining, uh, and then on your GPS there'll be uh, three markers. So the central one's the mine. Um, then there's one over to the east, which is where you take the wash, uh, the rocks to wash them. And then there's another one which is the smelter. Uh, so you can either smelt the rocks or you can sell them. People do buy uh, washed rocks. Oh, okay, sweet. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the sale as well. No problem, you have a good day. Yep, you too, mate. Take care. Sweet. And then after purchasing our first car, grabbing some mining equipment as well from Utool, I decided it was time to go check out the mining job as I had heard a lot of cool stuff about it and I also wanted to test out some of the crafting stuff I looked at earlier. So I went over to the mine to check it out. And after mining for a while, which again, this was kind of a cool spot. There was always a lot of people here, so it was a nice little social area in my opinion. But after mining for a while and getting a decent amount of stone, I quickly headed over to the stone washing area to wash off these stones and then to go smelt them and hopefully see what I get. Also, while I was at the stone washing area, I met this girl who gave me a little bit of info how she was making a ton of money off of this by having basically this guardian, which is that giant truck, filling it up, washing all the stones, and then selling the washed stones instead of actually selling the ores, which I thought was kind of interesting, and I definitely probably should have put some stones in my car, but apparently uh, that car could fit around like 1,500 stones, she said. So definitely if you have a big truck, it's definitely worth doing mining, and I thought it was pretty cool that people actually grind it out a little bit, because it is kind of interesting, and especially the smelting part, which we'll get to in just a second. So again, after heading over to the smelting area, checking it out, of course it was in the smelting little building that pretty much every single server that has a mining job has this to be one of the smelting areas, because it's a really, really nice interior. But I went up to, of course, the smelting area, and was brought up with another really cool crafting menu, where you can craft a bunch of different either gold bars, iron bars, silver bars, stuff like that, and you can also craft ammo with different materials, which I thought was really cool, as pretty much every server I've played on, ammo it was either imported or just straight up bought from gun stores. I thought it was really, really cool and a really unique feature on the server. So I went ahead and smelted up all of the stone that we had got and got a couple different materials such as a couple uncut gems as well as some, I believe, copper and a little bit of iron. So after washing off all of these stones and getting the ore, I then went and of course used the crafting menu to smelt up both the copper and the iron ore. I then went around town a little bit as I noticed the store or the jewelry store where I was going to see the prices of stuff was closed. So I decided to go to my motel where again I ran into some very nice people. Lynn, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's it. How much, uh, you are, how, how much even are these things? Uh, I don't know, the down payment was like 600 or so. I think it's five grand total. Yeah, I'll never finance the car though, to be honest. I just bought it. Oh, right. yeah, he told me I could just pay it through my phone or I could go over there and talk to them and pay it through him. Does it show you through the phone? Does it show you how much you owe? Yeah, yeah, I owe 5,600 left. Okay, I'm gonna chuck you five grand so you can get a large chunk of this paid off. Wait there. Oh, no, mate. It's all good, mate. Holy shit, mate. People are generous in this town. 
Hey, take me to the, take me to the right, I'm back, I'm back. Come, you can come back and get him. I have back. Alright. And then, after actually receiving that $5,000 from that very nice dude, also, I just want to say again, I'm not making these videos on the community or RP themselves, but I just want to say, at least for my new player experience, every single person I talked to was super helpful and super nice, so I just want to say a big thank you to that, and also say again, it's not re like uh, exactly representative of the whole server, but at least from my experience, everyone I met was super nice and super helpful. But after storing a little bit of stuff and actually receiving this $5,000, I went to go check out the jewelry store to see how much items would sell for if we actually got to the point where we could actually craft them. So I went over to the jewelry store of course and checked out some of the price. I thought it was a pretty cool UI in my opinion and it seems like if you want to mine and also get other items in other ways, it's a pretty cool way to make money and a pretty good way to make money in general. And then after checking out the jewelry for a bit, I figured we would do the end of this in a little relaxing session of golf. Alrighty, so I think we are going to be ending this episode here. But quickly, I just wanted to say a quick thing. I think stuff like this, like this golf thing, and other small activities on the server really make it a lot of fun. Because again, you don't always have to be doing gang stuff, or making money, or running drugs, or whatever. It's nice to be able to sit back a little bit, and play some round of golf with a couple friends. And I think it's really nice to have this on an RP server, especially. But I do think, again, we are going to be ending the video here. Again, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching and supporting over the last couple weeks, especially because the channel's been growing a little bit. So I really do appreciate it. But I think overall, we are going to be giving Subversion the rating of a 8 out of 10, which I think, again, this is only the second rating we've done. But I think the server was really, really deserving of it. Honestly, uh, bugs-wise, I didn't see any bugs the whole entire time. Everything was super clean. I didn't see any problems with the scripts. Again, I tried to bug out the inventory, I tried to bug out a bunch of these drops as well as much as I could, and tried to stress test them as much as I could, of course, in the allowed time I used. But overall, again, I had no problems with any of these scripts or any of the features, the inventory, the phone, or anything like that. Everything worked super smoothly. Uh, there's a wide variety of jobs. Again, most of the jobs did feel different from each other. There are some jobs where it was just like, pick this up, put it in your car, deliver it somewhere. But the majority of jobs were pretty unique to each other. And also stuff like the fishing job where you can get actually different kinds of fish. Or not different kinds of fish, but you can use different bait and get different kinds of weighted fish, I guess. And make different kinds of money that way. It was really nice. Also the mining job where you can get different kinds of ores and then smelt that ores and then turn them into jewelry I think was really cool. It allows you to have kind of a little bit of a gambling aspect or a little bit of an RNG aspect uh, when you're doing certain jobs and especially with mining it's a lot of fun honestly to try and mine and then try to obviously go smelt ores and hope you get good ones. Having that kind of RNG job and RNG aspect to a job really makes it a lot more fun and a lot more entertaining. Now, the only thing that I really would check on the server to change would be to have maybe some kind of tutorial. Again, this is such a super small nitpick, but it would be nice when you start off to have some kind of tutorial. Uh, besides that, I really did not have too many problems with the server. Again, a little bit more variety in the scripted jobs would be nice, as well as some direction into kind of a lot of these servers different features which again of course should be just learned i see so again it's just a little very nitpicky of me but overall the server was a lot of fun again this, this video is not supposed to be about the community but just to say something about the community uh, at least from my experience i had a really enjoyable time and everyone seemed to be very nice but I do believe that is again going to be about it for this video. Now if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. But again, before we end this off, I am giving Subversion RP a solid 8 out of 10. And hopefully you guys can try it out as well. Again, all the links will be in the description. But again, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to hit that sub button, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.